Atlanta Energy Systems is today a marine robotics company. We began as a renewable energy company. The idea was to use undulating fins to harness the flow of water to generate electricity. If you take out the robotic aspect of it, you take out Velox's brains, take out all the sophisticated things that are going on here, and just make it two fins on some kind of transmission system, you've got a generator, and this could be scaled up. This could be gigantic in the East River here, generating electricity for New York City. We had funding from the Office of Naval Research, National Science Foundation, various other entities to do that. But the more compelling use at the moment, according to the Office of Naval Research, is for a drone with undulating fins. The primary advantage of a robot like Velox is that you can go in water and land. So you don't have to send in two robots for one mission, one on land, one in the water. And if you're in an extended mission and your battery's running low, to be able to recharge your own batteries, is, that's a very key advantage. We don't know if it's ever going to see combat. It's intended for surveillance. And one of the biggest applications is maybe for marine science. We're hoping it can be used in the Arctic for polar exploration because it's good on ice. The difference between Velox fins and a Stingray's fins is that Stingray, when you put those fins on land, they collapse, whereas Velox fins can hold its weight on land and it can transport itself over land. It can go from swimming straight into crawling in one seamless move. It can also ice skate and it can go through sand, snow, mud, pretty much any surface you can think of. The biggest change we would make to Velox would be giving it autonomy and to be able to have an intended action to start to do it and to compare its intended action with what's actually happening and then modify its behavior accordingly. It's not an easy problem and we're working on that applied directly to Velox. It's either creepy or cute. Some people want to pet it, other people want to run away from it. I do have to confess that if I hadn't seen one of these and I was swimming somewhere and this was moving towards me in the water, it probably freaked me out. But if we had made it pink with white fins and put little googly eyes on it, I think more people would find it cute.